Okay, okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome one more time to our English class, to your pre-intermediate English class. And well, we're going to wait for the other ones that add to the class and because we are 21 with me, but just we are 20. I think six are missing, but don't worry for that. We're going to share the screen. We're going to see uh, the, the attendance list. We are going to do it at the end of the class as we, as we were doing, guys. Due to the majority of the, the students get connected uh, later. Okay, let me check right here. This mouse is having a problem. All right here. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. What we have here, we have like uh, the biography of, of Christina Aguilera. Uh, how many of you have heard about this famous singer, Christina Aguilera? I, I think she was a, uh, no, she was in the in the nineties or in the twenties. When when does it start Christina Aguilera to sing? Can somebody remember that? Nobody has an idea. Well, we're going to talk a little bit about about her, about something. Well, about some facts about her life, what she did, uh, what became her famous because everybody has a his or her own biography yeah like an anecdotic records where uh, uh, there's everything about your your life since, since you start being a famous singer or a businessman or whatever you want to be right or a famous YouTuber, ah. <laughs> okay. Cristina Aguilera. Let's see. Oh, I was forgetting the laser. Oh, laser. Okay, guys. Cristina Aguilera. So far, she was multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she's the best singer of her generation. She is... Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. What does this mean? Like, is the timeline? Is the like the record? Like, well, start when she was born, and the last one, it's uh, it mentioned like her last award. Do you remember what is uh, the the Grammy Award, right? The one that is given to the supposed uh, famous or more talented uh, singers, right? The the Grammy Awards that is like a like a, a little statue, like like a like a trumpet. That is the the famous tro trophy of the Grammy Awards. Yeah. ¿Cuántos de ustedes han visto ese premio, chicos, de, de, de los Grammys? Hello. Hello, guys. Ay. Yo ni idea tengo de qué, qué premio podría ser. <risa> Usted lo que quisiera es la, el premio de la lotería, Imelda. Sí, la verdad, yo no soy como tan así como fanática a los cantantes. Yo escucho música, pero no, no, este, me intereso por investigar sus nombres ni nada más sobre su biografía. So. Oh, yeah, that, that. No soy fanática. <laughs> yeah, that happens with, with, with people that is no fanatic, but the, I think the majority of the people just... Uh, they enjoy listening to the music or, or some of the singers, right? Because in my case, I I really like the the, the classic music, like 
Hay José José, Diego Verdaguer, eh, eh. those kind of music because uh, I feel I'm relaxing sometimes, but I never have gone deeper to make a like a personal research about the the personal life of the or the or, of a specific singer. No, I I just know or I just remember. Who is the who is that singer and that's it. And as we already know, the majority of you guys, the the famous singer in this is coming season. Uh, do you have an idea who is here in, in El Salvador? Who is like a, the, the most outstanding uh, singer or or preferred singer for Christmas uh, that for that specific season? We have we, the majority of us here in El Salvador. We have like uh, those famous singers, or those famous songs that we really uh, enjoy to play and and dance or singing or and all those kind of things. Let me tell you. I don't know if you have heard about the bookie. I don't know if some of you guys have heard about the bookie. Oh, Marco Antonio Soliva. Marco Antonio Solís. Temerario. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, but Aníbal, in Christmas, uh, on, on, on that season, uh, from the, of, uh, of, the, this, of the month of December, uh, you heard that kind of music, you heard uh, cumbia mixes, you heard Aniceto like a, Molina. Ah, yeah, Aniceto Molina, the famous Chanchonas. Yeah, eh, those those kind of songs eh, are the, the famous ones here in our country. Like the Reventó Weeks Navideño. Tum, 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 tum. <laughs> and that's why we remember the majority of us, eh, some of those singers, right? Because we i think we we keep in mind just um those specific, specific season or festivity something I mean, that might be the case right well in the case of of february uh, in february what do we celebrate in february san valentine's, valentine's day, day. Valentine's. We, we celebrate san valentine's Day, San Valentine's Day. Valentine. Valentine Day, but in Day. that specific month, guy, what kind of music people do people prefer at, at that specific month? In this occasion, sin los temerarios, romantic music, <laughs> bronco, romantic music, because everybody is falling <laughs> in love. Everybody's getting, <laughs> oh, it's going deeper inside of you, trying to search inside of your heart, looking for something that you really call love. Yeah. <laughs> and, and taking all of that out of yourself and give it to the other one or, you, or to your special love or to your special person. Uh, to your boyfriend, to your girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. The I people is smell love. Yeah, people is getting falling in love again on, on, on February. But those those are like a like a, it's like a some business. It, it's part of the business industry to select a specific day for a specific month, right? Because if you say that you really love or you really care about someone else, you're not only going to wait for a specific month. You can do it through the, the whole year, right? You can do that. Even in, in, in February, you can find the majority of the gift uh, expensive with a very high price. Why? Because it is a very demanding season and everybody is taking advantage uh, in la, from the prices to increase the prices and, and to set everything to, to high prices and you let like a, 
how how can we call it this in Spanish or in, in English? You let let's say in this way you you fall on those famous tricks. Yeah, because you you see uh, other people giving gift and you say, Oh, I hadn't give a gift. I need to buy one. No, you can do it in whatever month and whatever season that you really want. And that's why we were uh, talking about the the the, the songs and, and some specific seasons, right? That we have in, in our country. Okay, let's continue with Cristina Aguilera and her timeline. Guys, have you heard this word? Timeline. Time line. How can you translate this into Spanish? Línea de tiempo. Línea de tiempo. Línea de tiempo. Because the timeline has a beginning and has an end, right? Yeah. It's, that's why it's called line because it is a, a period of time. Those periods of time might be short or can be very, 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 very long. Since the person was born or since the person start becoming famous until her or his die, and that may be some of the fact that can be included in the in the timeline. Okay, let's start here. In 19, 1980, 82, see. Yeah, 1980, no, 86. Christina was born on December 18 in New York. She's a, a New Yorker girl, Christina Aguilera. Hmm. That's why she she's like a very extravagant and, and glamorous. That's why she used to do those kind of famous videos. In the 1988, Christina first appears on television in a star in a star search. A television talent show in a talent show. And let's move in 1992. Christina is on TV in Disney. Oh, in Disney. Look. New Mickey Mouse Club. <laughs> she appeared on the New Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spear and Justin Timberline. Yeah, Britney Spear, how you heard some of you, right? Britney Spear. Bring this beer. Kiss me, baby, one more time. Mm. And Justin Timberlake, the who was uh, who was boyfriend him. Uh, how how is called this this the who was the girlfriend of of no 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 Justin Timberlake. Timberlake was the boyfriend of of, of Britney Spear. I was confusing the other the, the that that other guy that. I forget the name of this guy. Okay, in 1994, Christina records All I Want to Do with Keiso Nakamichi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. Oh, she she, she took a tour on Japan. Mm, that's great. That's why the famous people really enjoy their life. In 1998, Christina sings a song for Disney movie Mulan. Oh, Mulan, I, I, I think the majority of you have watched Mulan. Who doesn't watch Mulan? Or who never watches Mulan? Mulan, the, yeah. the, the, the girl. Elsa, you, you never have watched Mulan. Hmm? Never. <laughs> but you, you, that means that you are very, very young, right? No. <laughs> okay, okay. But just we are trying to 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 bring back those those old memories, right? When we were kids or when we were shy. <laughs> remember the Mulan movie? I went to the movie to see Mulan. I remember that. I remember that. Okay. In the 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Butter. Her first big hit, it means like su primer, su primer sencillo, por así decirlo, ¿verdad? 
su primer sencillo, su primer gran lanzamiento, en pocas palabras, ¿verdad? In 2001, along with other singers, Christina Records, Lady Mermelade, for the movie Mulan Rouge. Oh, did you remember that song that he, Buleco Puche a Pegua, Pegua? Algo así decía la letra, pero no, no, no me acuerdo. <laughs> Where Christina Aguilera appears with, with some of her. Uh, Some other singers and they 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 were wearing like those kind of outfits that that were used in a cabaret in a cabaret. That was that that song was very famous. The the Moulin Rouge, the Moulin Rouge. In 2002, Christina performed at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. In Utah, Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, los Juegos Olímpicos, ¿ves? Los, no, los Juegos de, de Invierno, Winter Olympics, las Olimpiadas de Invierno. Es. Eh, in 2004, Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. The song, like, used to say, You are beautiful, no matter what they say. It's the letter just to I just I remember that part of the letter. Christina Christina Aguilera never was uh, one of the my favorite singer, but I used to like to hear some of her songs. Not all of them, just a few. That's why I can't remember the majority of the name or or the or the lyrics of the song. Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride. She love. I simply love my job. So do all Christian fans. She really love her job. Okay, what well, how how can or how she won't love her job? She earns millions of dollars a year. She travels around the world. She has I think she has her private yet. She has her private stuff. stuff. And she has everything that she wants or everything that she needs. Because there's a popular saying that said, uh, money doesn't bring happiness. Of course, guys. That, that's a completely true. Money really buys happiness because if you need something, you buy it with money. Nobody's going to give you a free gift just for being a, a pretty person. No. Everything turns around money. That's the the like like the, the cruel truth. Because you 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 won't go to a store and say, please give me those pair of shoes because I'm really pretty or I'm pretty handsome. No. The, the one who are in, at the store are going to tell you those pair of shoes cost uh, a hundred. And if you don't have money, sorry for you, come back when you have it. <laughs> that's what they're going to tell you guys. Yeah, that, that that's why the, the famous people, they always have what they want because they receive money from all of the sponsors that they have. Uh, do you know what is the purpose of the of the sponsoring in the career of a singer or any famous other uh, person? What does the spurs, What does the sponsor do, guys? ¿Qué es lo que hace un sponsor? Un sponsor. Uh -huh. O el famoso patrocinador. ¿Qué es lo que hace? Se lo digo en español, va, para que me lo entienda un poquito más rápido. Uh -huh. Elsa, ¿qué es lo que hace un patrocinador? I'm not sure. You're not sure. <laughs> you don't know what. Don Jaime Iván, hello Don Jaime. 
Hello, teacher. Hello, Don Jaime. Would you like to help us to share what you already have heard or what you know of the function uh, for the sponsor? Uh, the spo in, in, in Spanish. Ah, ok, ok. La función de, de un patrocinador, don Jaime. Ajá, ya, ya, este, eh, conseguirle, no, este, eh, este, pagar, pagar, eh, pagar, pa, pagarle a, a ella, conseguir, este, eh, oh, give money, es armarlo. Sí, o facilitar dinero, uh -huh. facilitar dinero, al, o sea, le, le, le patrocinen diferentes, que, eh, le, le paga eventos, le paga este vestuario eh, y otra, un montón de cosas. ¿va? O sea, por favor se llama patrocinador porque le, le ayude económicamente en la carrera. Oh, eso. That's, that's what does the sponsor do. Gives money in order to increase the career of the singer, of the actor, or whatever famous uh, person that we were talking about. Everybody has an sponsor. If you are famous, you have a sponsor because a sponsor, uh, at the same time, they give you money for being with you. They also receive money because you are sharing the, the, the your name with that famous person, right? Ok, Gadi, no sé what's your... la palabra que dice? Como que dice esposo. No, sponsor. ¿Cómo? <ríe> sponsor. Sponsor. Oh. Ah, es... No, esposos, no, esposos son los que están a los dos juntos sí. ahí más. <ríe> sí, ya decía yo, ¿qué es eso? <ríe> Entendimos no. que así ya en los esposos. No, 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 no. no. <ríe> Por lo que le hace el sacerdote al difunto en el pleno después de la misa. ¿Qué, qué es lo que son los, los santos? Los ¿Esos son los santos? No, esos son los santos Julio. <ríe> sí, la palabra confunde. Ajá, el sponsor en la Graciela, el sponsor es el famoso patrocinador. Bien. Cuando alguien necesita Ajá. algo, ¿qué, ¿qué es lo que dice? I need a sponsor. Necesito un patrocinador. En every famous person in some time, not all of them, need a sponsor because they need money to increase in their careers. O sea, necesitan billetes, por así decirlo, para o sea, darle un boom a, a su carrera, ¿verdad? Porque muchas personas comenzaron sin, sin, sin ningún centavo y ocuparon ayuda de alguien más como para vilarizarse o hacerse más populares, perdón. I need a sugar daddy. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. Well, uh, we, don't, we don't know, we are not sure. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's move to our, our next slide. We're going to move this right here. Okay, guys, here we have and uh, here we have some 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 of the things right here we have uh, some question about the the article that we were reading about Christina Aguilera which is said read the article the number this sentence from one to ten first event to to the to the last one that this said a hey, for it is an h from oh from one to ten Guys, in the previous paragraph that we were mentioning about Christina Aguilera, uh, which one might, from this sentence that we have here, which one might be the first one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's move to the back. Mm -hmm. Christina is born on December, blah, blah, blah. Christina first appeared in television, Star Search, Television Talent. Mm -hmm. If you want, guy, what you can do is take a picture to the image, have it on your um, on your cell phone, and then have your cell phone in your hands and being checking 
the facts that we were mentioned. Okay. Like what I did, I took a picture with the cell phone to the image because I need to see and check the, the orders. Para los que no nos ha quedado claro, lo que vamos a trabajar aquí es lo siguiente. Acorde al artículo que les estaba hablando, vamos a numerar del 1 al 10 los hechos como aparecen en orden cronológico. O sea, cuál fue mencionado primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto. Y lo vamos a ir buscando aquí. Vamos a ir poniendo, oh, de nombre, solo es un ejemplo. La, la, literal, ah, es el número uno. It's just an example, but we need to look for the, for the one that really are in the, with the, with the text, right? Okay, let's gonna start right here. Which one from the one that we have here might be the one? The number one. She is born. She's born in New York. York. Yeah, because here it says Christina is born on December in New York. Letter B is number in December. B. Number um, one. Number one. Yeah, be, because one. it said Christina is born on December. 18 in New York. In other words, she is born in New York. Or she was born in New York. Letter B is the number one. one. Number, number one. Okay. Yeah. Let's move to the following. Uh, which one might be the number two? Letter G. Letter G. Letter G. G. Letter G. Okay, that might be great and excellent. Okay. Letter G. Let's move to the number three. To the number three. Letter, F. Letter D. Letter D. D, letter D, letter D. She records a song for Disney movie. Disney movie, okay. Let's move to the number four, the number four. Letter F. Letter F. Yeah, she works with Britney. Spears ah. with Britney Spears. Okay, let's continue. What about the number five? Mm -hmm. Which one might be the number five for you guys? Teacher, uh, let it be. Oh, yeah, es, es, <laughs> está mal. No es ese número que dijeron. A ver. Lady D es number five. Ah, sí, es cierto. Because she, the number three is the, the Christina on TV. Right. Number three es Lady F. She worked in his field. But it's a little confused. Oh, yeah, number three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she worked with Britney Spears because after that, she... Yeah, in the number the number five is the letter D, as you, as you said, right? Because... The letter four is... Letty... Yeah, 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 we... we uh, Yeah, I think we skip that. That mm -hmm. far. Uh, yeah, because of the first Disney mouth with uh, clock with Bring Spear, uh huh, and Justin Timberlake. Uh huh. And the number five we said is the letter D. She she re she records a song with for a Disney movie. That might be the number five, right? Cuatro, cinco. Sí. Uh -huh. 
What about the numbers, the number six, guys? Mm -hmm. Christina has her first big hit. Mm -hmm. oh, it's letter. Letter. No. Her first hit. Letter H. No, letter H. H. Uh -huh. H. 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 Uh -huh. Let's move to the to the other one. And instead, Christina has a fair big hit. Okay. Along with other singer, Christina uh, records Lady Markova for the movie Mulan Rouge. For the movie Mulan Rouge. Mm -hmm. She was, she wins a Grammy for Beautiful. Because she's on TV first. Which, which, uh, which one are missing? I think the letter C is missing, right? The letter C is missing, right, guys? Because the the letter C is, is with the one that said number A. The, the letter C, right? Because she she sings for the Olympic uh, Olympic Winter Olympic Games. Yeah, for the Olympic Winter Olympic Games, los Juegos Olímpicos de Invierno. Aquí en El Salvador tenemos bastantes nosotros también, ¿verdad? Los juegos de... <ríe> We have a lot of winter Olympic Games. <ríe> Searching for the chumpa <ríe> and all of those uh, clothes for, for, for the call, right? <ríe> okay, guys. Uh, we're going to finish with this part. Uh, let's see the... RB pay work. And that is said. Who is your favorite musician? Yesterday we were talking about maybe some some things about the 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 no 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 last classes was right. The music genres and the artists, right? And Imelda, who is your favorite musician? Uh, repeat, repeat, please. <laughs> okay, I repeat for you. <laughs> Don't worry, I will es repeat. Que no, comprendo, no comprendo la última palabra. Who? Let's focus right here in the with the lazy. Who is your ah. favorite musician? Musician. Musician is the music. So. Mm -hmm. eh, musician. Sí? Musician is the music. Ah, el músico. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, uh, I not um, half um, perform. I uh, in for an error. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um. Ah, bueno, uh, maybe, maybe um, broncos. Ah, the 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 group. Bronco, okay. Yes. Okay. okay. Eh, estoy a punto de olvidarte para siempre. <laughs> ah, that's why you really enjoy Bronco, right? Oh, those very strong songs that go deeply into your heart. <laughs> the Bronco group, okay. Let's move. Wilfredo, hello, Wilfredo. Hello, Wilfredo. Hi, Hi, Wilfredo. Hi, Hello, Wilfredo. Who is your favorite musician, Wilfredo? Uh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. a, mu a musician is equal a singer? Singer? Yeah, so uh, they are the synonyms. Um, okay. 
Because yeah. you call that person in Spanish músico o mm -hmm. cantante. Ah, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Musician. Uh, and my favorite favorite musician is maybe is uh, Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Ah. Uh, oh, things <laughs> twice. That's a matter. I don't know. This is this thing is between you and I. Something like that. Said the song. I can't remember the the, the whole song. Right. Phil Collins. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Eh, Blanquita. Hello, Blanquita. Hello. Yeah. I already saw you that you were smiling. Help us with this it's question, Blanquita. Who is your favorite musician, Blanquita? Eh, my Omar. favorite. No. <laughs> uh -huh. eh, my favorite music is my favorite mu my favorite musician Mus is musician is Bruno Mars. Bruno Mars. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Bruno Mars. I think do you really enjoy the reading of Bruno Mars? Tac song Mississippi. Ta 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 ta. ta. <laughs> yeah, he's He's a very good uh, singer, right? Okay. Uh, oh, who I miss over here over there? Oh, Marisol. Hello, Marisol. Hello, Marisol. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello, Marisol. You already were listening and paying attention to what we're talking about, right? We were talking about the musicians. Marisol, who is your favorite musician? Uh, my favorite musician is Alex Surto and Fuki. Uh, Alex Surto. Uh, I don't know. If I know. Christian. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Those yeah. are the. Uh, B number one. Promote your bra. Okay. Okay, let's go to see. Let's go to select. Eh, Daniela, hello, hello. Hello, hello. The bottom of, hello, the bottom of the screen. Daniela, who is your favorite musician? Mm, my favorite musician, it's a group, Coldplay. Oh, Coldplay, Coldplay. Oh, yeah. he, they are, they are, oh, they, they, they were amazing. They were uh, did you know that they were in LA uh, last last month, right? Yes. Or no? Yeah, they were in LA. My 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 old sister, she went to see them at the concert. She went to the concert. the The ticket for the concert was not expensive. It cost like a uh, one hundred fifty, one hundred fifty. I think that that what was she really uh, paid. And and also the uh, the flight ticket cost uh, cost for her like a two two ninety. It, it was not too expensive, but I I really would like to go, but but I couldn't go due to some problem with my visa. That's why I couldn't go. But I really wanted to go because that was a very very nice concert. Coldplay is one of the famous group. And are one of the uh, they are one of the group that are really offering gifts to their audience, an excellent concert. Uh, it really you you see and you really pay for what you see. That oh, oh I I have no words to explain that. They are awesome. They are great. Coldplay. Okay, let's move. The best. Hola? Are the best. Yeah, they are the uh, one of the best. Coldplay. Oof, Coldplay. Okay, uh, Floricia, who is your favorite musician? Floricia, I think do you have a problem with your microphone or don't? Me escucha? Yeah, I hear you. <laughs> uh, okay. My favorite musician is Adele. Adele, oh. Let's send by us. Yeah, yeah, I have heard about her. Adele, <laughs> yes. Adele, okay. okay. Bruno and me, hello. 
Hello in the back of, of the screen. Ruth Noemi. Hello, Ruth. Hello. Hello, Ruth. You were listening to what we were talking about with your classmate. We were talking about their favorite musician. Ruth, who is your favorite musician? My favorite musician is Ed Sheeran. Who? <laughs> Ed Sheeran. Oh, Ed Sheeran. Oh. Have you heard? Uh, I, I, I can't remember this song that says, Why lips are perfect, living in snowflakes. Oh, that is one one of my favorite songs there. The, the, yeah, the Ed Shira. Okay, Elizabeth, hello. How are you, Elizabeth? Hello over there. Hello. Hello, the, hello in the bottom of, your, of the screen. <laughs> Elizabeth, uh, you were listening to your classmate, right? And we were talking and we were making emphasis about their, their favorite musician. Who is your favorite musician in your case, Elizabeth? Um, my favorite musician is Ricardo Arjona. Oh, Ricardo Arjona. Era la diez de la noche, piloteaba mi nave. Era mi taxi un amarillo. No, 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 it wasn't another way. <laughs> Ricardo, Ricardo Arjona. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I think he is right. And he's the only one. Elizabeth? Or you or do you have another one? Another, another. That is the the one that most you really like. Victor Manuel. Salsa. Oh, oh salsa. Salsa, yeah. Tell me one of of, of, of his songs. The name of or one of, or, or the name of one of, of, of his song. Alguna de las canciones de él? The name? Don't you remember? Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't remember. Uh, perdón, perdón. Sorry? Una viejita, tal vez. Pero no la voy a cantar, solo voy a decir el no. nombre. Eh, <ríe> la de Apiádate de mí. Uh, Apiádate de mí, no seas así. Uh -huh. oh, ok, I remember that. Ok, Miguel Ángel, hello. Hello, Miguel Ángel. Hello, teacher. I want to hear something about your musical preference. And who is your favorite musician? Uh, I like the music, the, the bandas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, do you like banda or uh, banda music? But do you have a specific group or, or a specific singer or a specific musician? Oh, Los Angeles Azules, um, oh. Radios, en Semerario. Yeah. Los Tiracumbos, no? Ah, no, no, eso, no. eso, no, eso, no. No, no, money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Who is missing right here? Oh, Nelson, Nelson, you were missing. You were missing. Nelson, can you share with the audience, with this very great audience, who is your favorite musician, Nelson? Hello, teacher. Uh, there are many teachers, for example, uh, my favorite musician. Is our, oh, do you do, our, you're you're going to mention more than two, right? Yes. Aha. Uh -huh, okay. Uh, my favorite uh, musician uh, are my, my my favorite musician are Franco De Vita, Franco Emmanuel, De Vita, Emmanuel, Michael mm -hmm. Jackson. Oh, Michael Nicole, Jackson, Nicole Clarkson, mm -hmm. and Lionel Richie, Madonna, Lionel, Madonna, uh, all those who sing pop oh you 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 have a a, a lot of a, a lot of musicians <laughs> yeah you, you have a lot of it. that's really interesting to listen <laughs> that you have a lot elsa do you really participate with with, with us right 
Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay, yes. Teacher, but, but with this... teacher. Who is speaking? Teacher. teacher. ¿Quién habla? <laughs> yo, yo Imelda. Okay, tell me Imelda. It's, uh, it's, it's your turn. Ah, it's my turn. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. Who is your favorite musician? <laughs> well, guys, in my case, I don't think that I have like uh, one specific or, or preferred musician. I one of the person that really enjoys or really likes to hear uh, from the all different genres that, that, that we have in music. I like uh, a little bit of banda. Uh, all those music um, or uh, of that some of the group of some of the Mexican groups uh, sings because I have an aunt who lives in Mexico and once I visit her uh, I really fall in love from those kind of music uh, not only for singing and uh, also for dancing yeah because they are like a very energetic step ta 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 those those kind of groups and those kind of uh, music rhythms <laughs> and i know like a, a big fan of the of the of the love music i like it but not a lot and i really like um, pop like uh, Nelly Furtado, Nelly, Snoop Dogg, um, G-Class Hero, uh, All-American Regis, uh, Green Day, um, Placebo. I recommend you Placebo. Pure Morning, that is one of the greatest songs. Pure Morning. Those are very, very talented artists or musicians. And who else? Ooh, I have. <laughs> but in the English, in the English area, those are my favorite ones, right? And who, who else? I was missing in English. Oh, I really love and I really like to hear the ones and that I used to sing funky music, funky music like the one that said, "Say." Celebration star, come on, celebrate it. And those are some of my favorite in English. But in Spanish, I really love salsa, bachata, merengue, son reggaeton, cumbia, sobaqueada. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, I, I have like a more tendency for for English music than Spanish music. Uh, I don't know if it is for, or it, or it was for my career, but doesn't mean that Spanish music don't like me. No, no, no. I I also like it, uh, uh, Spanish music, but I think for just for my career, I, I enjoy uh, listening more English English music. I, I, I don't know why, but I, I really like it. I don't understand it 100%, but I think I understand the majority of them, like an 85 or 90% what the, about what the song said. Oh, I recommend you another group. This group is, is like a kind of news, 21 pilots or, or 21, no, 21 pilots, 21 pilots. They, they, they are really great. They, they were launched on... What, what was the year of uh, of their launch? Uh, 2020. Uh, I think it was, uh, it was in the 2020, 2021, uh, 2021, or something like that. Yeah, they, they, they have great songs too. And well, I already shared you about uh, uh, my yeah. my musical preference and my musicians. <laughs> Okay, who is missing, guys? Who is missing? Who was missing? DJ. Uh huh. Sam and Snap Dog. Oh, Snoop Dog. Yeah. Eh. Sam and Snap Dog song. Ah, some of the Snoop Snoop Dog songs. Snoop Dogg. Oh, again. Okay. Eh. Wow. 
uh, with uh, with er Eric or Jeff Khalifa. I I think he they made a duo. Uh, someone is so hard. No, no. no sometimes we smoke. We we don't care. No, we just want have. No, we just having fun. We don't care who see. And that song is, is only making emphasis on on. on uh, when you are smoking weed, <laughs> that's the only thing that, that, that he really mentioned. Snoop Dogg always really appears smoking weed in all of his videos. <laughs> and even he has a, a specific guy or a specific person in order to to create the 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 pops. The, those are the, the, the those cigarritos de, de, de mota, como le dicen, the pot. He he has hired one specific person for that job, and he pays like uh, five uh, six hundred a week just for doing that. That's that is what the person earns just for doing that, six hundred dollar a week just for doing that for him. Imagine he only has the yeah. green one, the, the green, one. The green uh, or two. Yeah, that, <laughs> ese, es el ese es el trabajo de ese es el trabajo de ese chico para el Snoop Dogg. Solo eso hace, solo eso hace y le pagan 600 a la semana. Es el único yeah. trabajo de y trabaja ocho horas ocho horas diarias para él. Imagínense. O sea, por eso les digo que el dinero hace todo lo posible. ¿no? <laughs> okay, guys, let's move to to. Our... Well, I don't know what happened here. I think... Okay, we were having two more. Okay, guys, we have survey likes and dislikes. Jose, you, John, oh, Romer, yeah, John Wire Free. That was the name of that song, Snoop Dogg in, in Khalifa. John Wire and Free. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, guys, uh, here we have some questions that we can share with all of you, right? Uh, we can mention uh, or we can answer the way we, we want it. What do we have here? When do you usually watch TV? When do you usually watch TV? Do you watch TV at noon, at night, in, in the morning? When do you usually watch TV, guys? Hello? At night. At okay. night, teacher. At night, yeah, I think the majority of of, of us uh, watch TV at night because in the mornings just or it's very difficult for us to watch TV, right? Okay, let's move to the uh, second one. What kind of program do you like? Mention some of, of your programs. Or you can mention one soap opera, una telenovela. Mm -hmm. mm, ¿Cómo se llama? Oh, in my case, llévatelo. I watch llévatelo from six to to from six thirty to to seven. Mm -hmm. What about in your case, guy? Or you only watch Netflix? <laughs> yes. Ah, yes, Netflix, 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 just Netflix. Okay, Netflix. Let, uh, Netflix. <laughs> the majority of you prefer Netflix. That's it. <laughs> okay, let's move to the uh, to the following. Do you really do you do you like reality shows? Yes or no? No. Yes. Yes. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So in some I cases, like in some cases, this this might change because not everybody enjoy seeing watching reality shop and some of you really enjoy watching reality shop because and uh, not everybody has the say taste for for tv program or in this case reality show well uh, let's go and move to the next one do you listen to the radio i think everybody is listening to the radio yes every everybody <laughs> yeah even if you don't want it because if you were uh, uh, commuting in the bus, the driver in the bus is putting the radio with a high volume. Everybody in every place, we heard the radio, right? 
That doesn't matter. Radio is everywhere. Who is your favorite singer? Yeah, we already mentioned that, right? In the, in the... Luis Miguel. Luis Miguel. Oh, Luis Miguel. He's. Yeah. I, I think he's going to to come here to El Salvador. Luis Miguel. I Luis... have. Are you I ready to buy the ticket? Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. No, I don't like it, Luis Miguel. Why I not? Don't, I don't know why, but uh, he never calls my attention with, with with his lyrics. I don't know. I don't know why. I never have been like a big fan of of, of Luis Miguel. No, that's you not... heard. You heard his high. <laughs> <laughs> or rock. Yeah, rock, rock, rock music is also great. Okay, what do you think of salsa? But not the salsa made of tomato. Salsa, <laughs> <laughs> the music. <laughs> what do you think salsa? Yeah, it is, it is a very in, in, interesting uh, rhythm that this one has, right? Like, like the movement, because you move all your body and every part of your body, every bone of your body and every muscle of your body get moved when you listen salsa, right? I don't you, like. You don't like anyone. Yes, but, but that like. might be. But well, that might be because you don't know how to dance, right? Ah, <laughs> uh, the one, who, the one who can dance don't like salsa. Ah, uh, I got you. I got you. I got you, Aníbal. <laughs> yeah, Aníbal. Yeah, but it's, 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 those are your tastes, right? Don't like salsa. Okay. What is your favorite movie? We were mentioning some of them, the, the, the last section, right? The, the, the movie, the horror movie, the science fiction movie. This already we were talking about. What kind of movie do you dislike? And I think the, this also we we were talking about, the, the likes and dislikes uh, according to the movies, right? And do you like science fiction? Do you like science fiction? Yeah, science fiction movies, so they are great. What? Who was talking? Hello, guys. Who was talking, guys? Ah, okay. But in this case, science fiction is like a uh, one one genre in. In, in movies, right? One of the famous science fiction movies is, is Avatar in Star Wars. They are like the most outstanding. Crepusculo. Um... Oh, crep no, crep Crepusculo is not science or is a science fiction? Huh? No, el hombre lobo. No, Aníbal, don't, don't pull in my hair. El vampiro. <laughs> Yeah, that might be like uh yeah, it might be science fiction, right? Right. That, that 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 might be because they are not real. They are not real. And something that is not real might be science fiction. Okay. And let's move to our last slide. Speaking. Oh, we have a frog right here. <laughs> oh, Mark Anthony said Armando. Okay, we have a frog. Uh, make a trip invitation to interesting activity, riding on cars. Okay, guys, if you see, we have three different, no, four, one, two, three, four different um, uh, pieces of, of, of yeah, I think it's the invitation, right? Here we have one. I want to see the frog race tomorrow. They at the park at two. Would you like to go? I don't know you guys if you have heard about frog races. La carrera de, de, de los sapos. Frog races. How many of you have heard about that? ¿Cuántos de ustedes han escuchado eso? Frog races. ¿Mm? Carrera de? No, un Sapos. Sapos. Solo de sacos. No, sapos. Sapos. Here we have here the, the tiny animal. If you see, <laughs> here we have the <laughs> tiny animal. That is a frog. Uh, un sapito o sapo. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, those kind of race 
start in Australia because they have a play that was uh, associating and devastating the one of the uh, no no one a lot of areas in 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 Australia and the people in order to try to stop or streaming the uh, dogs play and uh, they start picking up frogs and they start doing frog races because frogs were bare or still being abundant in, in Australia due to the due to the weather and that was how those racers start in, in Australia the frog racer just uh, only in Australia Australia is the only one country in, in all the continent that make this kind of races, frog races. Yeah, they were the one that invented or created the frog races. And here in El Salvador, we have rat races. <laughs> la carrera de las ratas. <laughs> Pero son carreras las que nos hacen a nosotros. <laughs> <laughs> Here in El Salvador is very different. <laughs> Here the the rats are very abundant. In in, in the case of Australia, uh, during those uh, age or uh, during those decades, the frogs were very abundant. But here in El Salvador, rats uh, have been a, a big problem. Yeah, the rats. I think everybody had uh, rat problems at home. That is something very hard to to, to eliminate, right? Okay, and then we have the invitation for the frog races. And what about, and he said, that sounds great. What time do you want to meet? What time do you want to meet? Okay, he said that the, star, the race start at, at two. Okay, I like to, but I have to watch my cat tomorrow. Okay, guys. Did you remember that those kind of phrases that we were mentioning in last class uh, are the famous but, los famosos pero. Those famous but are created in order to avoid one invitation that somebody else is uh, requesting you. Uh, because in some cases, the Salvadorian people often, I think we have this, this, this little thing in common, every every Salvadorian um, um, and guy in our country or, or person, that if somebody invited to you, you always use a but. You always put a pero because you don't want to go because if somebody is inviting you to a party, that means that you're going to spend for a gift. Yeah, you have to spend money in order to go to the party because you're go not going to arrive to the party with your empty hands. In, only with your presence. No, no, no. Uh, everybody is waiting for, for a gift. That's why they invited to you to, to a party or to an event, right? And this is something very typical here in, in our country, right? Okay. And let's see the time. Okay, guys. Uh, I think we're going to stop right here. And let's wait. Okay. Okay, guys, uh, let's, we are going to call the roll. I hope that some of you might be, were still connected. Uh, well, the first one, Ana Graciela Ramos. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Uh, Anderson Jeremy. Anderson, oh, he, he I remember, I, I already see the, the, the message here, he sent me. I think that he was having technical issues too, due to the region where where he was. Blanca Stephanie. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, Blanquita. Thank you, Karina Beatriz. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Karina. Okay, Carlos Aníbal. I'm here. Ah, you were there, Aníbal. You were there with Bronco. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daniela Alejandra. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Daniela. Thank you. Diana Patricia, you were there, right? Present, teacher. Okay, Esa Noelia. Present. Okay. Floricia Mengíbar. 
I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Henry Alexander. I think he was he was there, but he was having issues. Uh, Ingrid Esmeralda. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Jaime Iván. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Jocelyn Alicia. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Karina Yamilet. Karina Yamilet. Present. Oh, Armando. Yeah, I, I remember that. Armando is present. Karina Yamile is not there. He's not here for today. Oh, I got, he got fresh. Okay. Uh, Carla Gabriela. Gabriela, Carla. Hello. No, she's missing. Marie Melda Manjibar. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Maria Wendy? I'm here, teacher. Oh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Marisol de Los Angeles? Present, teacher. Okay, thank you. Miguel Angel Clemente? I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Nelson Rutilio? Here I am, teacher. Okay, thank you, Nelson. Jo Romer Jose? Present, teacher. Thank you. Ronald Alexander. Ronald? No, you were not there. Rosa Elizabeth? I'm here. Thank you. Ruth? Present. Oh, and, Wilf and Wilfredo. Okay, that's, that's it. And... Okay. Okay, guys, this has been everything for today. And thank you for your attention, your participation. I hope you enjoyed the class and uh, talking about the the singers that we were talking the <laughs> some other things that we were talking about, right? And that make us laugh. And uh, wait, well, have a good night. I hope to see you on Monday. And uh, first if God help us to to see us again on Monday, the same time, the same play, the same platform. <laughs> okay, guys, have a, a great weekend and relax. Take a nap, go to the beach, take a mojito and relax. <laughs> okay, guys, see you the next class. See you on Monday. Bye bye, guys. Okay, okay, good night. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Happy weekend, everyone.